screen right now is some onboard footage of us at Chuck Walla following AMA Daytona Sport Bike Rider Melissa Paris. So we've got a point of view from Kristen's bike and uh, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. It's late in the day with that sun, so we're gonna go through this real quick. For another minute and a half. <laughs> so you <laughs> elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> before, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. <laughs> Out here in SoCal there's a lot of canyons, back where I'm from, it's kind of just a straight line everywhere. So, um, but going to the track is definitely a good way to get your feet wet and experiencing your ability and learning how to be a better rider and learn more about what your bike's capable of. So. This is actually Button Willow following uh, Chrissy Cooley who's racing AMA this year and a couple other girlfriends in front of us. <clears throat> um, you'll see this is a YouTube channel called Oki Honda Girl, and that's Kristen here. Um, <laughs> definitely check it out because she has a lot of instructional videos on how to get started riding, street riding, and then to the track. Because um, Kristen, you're, you started out in street, right? Started out in street, did a few track days, and the more track days I did, the less exciting street riding was. <laughs> There's still the social part of you know street riding that I enjoy time to time, but I guess you can call me a track junkie. That's where home is now. Yeah. Is, your, is your bike still street legal? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get pulled over. <laughs> um, a quick shout out to Femme Walla. It's a female only track day we do once a year at Chuck Walla. It's in December. So uh, keep the calendar free for that one. Alright, so are we ready for the next slide? Slide. <laughs> We're really technically savvy here at the big store. No, 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 no. No, we already saw that. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah, we the we missed it. Alright, here we go. Kristen. Alright, so <laughs> next slide. Next slide. Sorry, that's the fast one. This is the title page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So why do track days? First, there's the whole safety aspect. It's a closed course. You can see through all the corners. You have corner workers that communicate with you to let you know if you know there's a rider off the track or if there's debris, which doesn't happen often, but you know they're there to let you know, hey, something's coming up. Pay attention. Um, there's staff and control riders, which. Um, Two parts to that. Control riders kind of make sure everybody's in check, you're riding in the right groove, everybody's passing respectfully, or on the right line. And a lot of the, well, I think most or all of the staff or control riders at the different track organizations are there as instructors as well. Uh, some track days they'll approach you and see, hey, you know, I see you're riding this way, why don't you follow some of my lines and see, you know, I, I see some things you can work on. Second reason, building skills that you can't do on the street because of safety reasons really, uh, to test those skills out, new techniques that you picked up from these instructors and cool staff writers that uh, helped you out, and uh, mostly really because it's fun and you get to meet a whole lot of cool new people. Like uh, we mentioned earlier, from Walla, um, I met a whole bunch of cool new chicks and there's like this, I guess like stigma that you think like these girls are on bikes and they're scary and they're intimidating and they're probably really mean, but... <laughs> surprising any sort of cattiness that the media likes to portray on women's and groups and stuff like that is erased at the track because we're all there for like a singular purpose we all want to excel at riding on the track and everyone's super helpful I've never gotten a hairy eyeball from another chick riding the track. Bike prep. Uh, I'm gonna cover this I'm actually one of the staff at track days and I'm just gonna go over what we look for when you go through tech inspection to prepare your bike uh, the first thing is you want to tape up all your lights, your headlights, your tail lights, your turn signals, uh, your reflectors as well. Um, you want to tape up or remove your license plate, your wheel weights. Let's just cover them up with duct tape. We don't want them flying off on the track. Uh, tape or remove your mirrors. There's 
absolutely no reason you need to look behind you on the track. It's just whatever's in front of you, focus on that. Your throttle return, basically, when your bike is turned off and you pull the throttle back, it should snap back into to the closed position. Uh, make sure everything's secure. Basically, you know, your rear sets, your, um, your frame sliders, like, there's nothing should be loose on the bike. Everything's secure. And then to set your tire pressures, um, the tire pressures on the track are going to be a little bit different than the tire pressures on the street. They're usually a little bit lower, a couple pounds lower. Usually at most of the track days, there will be a tire provider, whether it's Pirelli or Michelin, Dunlop, and they'll, no matter what tire you're running, they can give you a good idea of what you should be setting your pressures at. <laughs> all right, rider prep. I've been playing dress up all day long with these mannequins, so I can't wait to talk to you all about it. So, <laughs> so when you go to the track, um, you you got to be covered pretty much head to toe in leather. It's just the, the safest material out there to protect you when you're going at fast speeds on asphalt. So um, you've got a couple options. You've got one-piece suits, which are pretty popular. You have two-piece suits, so these guys will zip together. And then you can also use kind of like a street jacket zip to a street pant. This is still track worthy as long as you are connected here. Um, you'll notice a lot of these suits will feature knee sliders. As you get better, you'll find that you will be scraping your knee on asphalt, so you'll want that to protect yourself. Um, you'll also notice almost all these suits will come with hard armor in the elbow, in the forearm, in the shoulder, and in the knees um, for further protection as far as armor goes. Sorry, but <laughs> open here. Um, we make a whole variety of kind of armor you can wear under your suit. We have chest protectors, we have hard shorts with some more hard protection, and a back protector, which is um, really a, kind of a safety feature you should even consider for your street riding. Um, beyond that, you want a helmet. I suggest a Sneller ECE rated helmet. Um, you want gauntlet style gloves that are long with hard protection on the knuckles there. And you want um, you want boots that are high boots and have some ankle protection on them and preferably with some toe guards and knee sliders and stuff like that. So, and that, that's the kind of it for a uh, rider prep. Uh, don't forget your underarm too. It makes getting in and out of sticky leathers much easier. <laughs> <laughs> what to expect at your first track day. This is pretty much how the schedule goes. You go through registration and you sign a waiver pretty much saying that you're not going to sue anybody at the track if anything happens to you. Uh, the tech inspection, which I have went over on what, you know, how to prepare your bike for the track. Uh, the riders meeting is basically where they go over, you know, what to expect for that track day. They'll go over what the ride format is. Most of the track day organizations will run a three group format, run 20 minutes each, uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And then I know SoCal track days, um, and there are other track organizations that just run open sessions. So the track's hot all day, except for maybe an hour for lunch. Uh, they also go over, um, you know, passing rules within the groups, as well as what the different flags mean. The flags are a little bit different for each organization, but they basically stay the same, so it's pretty easy to remember. And then a lot, if not all, of the track organizations also offer a new rider school or orientation for first-time track riders. Basically, you'll get a siding lap, two siding laps, figure out where, you know, the corners are, what they look like, and, um, and that's kind of where you meet your instructors, too. Yeah, um... A beginner's Riding School is definitely recommended if you haven't been to the track, but I've done it, Chris has done it. Pretty much everyone does it. They kind of hold your hand through the process so you don't feel overwhelmed. Your first track day can be kind of intimidating, especially when you're not knowing what to expect, so having someone there to coach you through it, it's, I think it's really beneficial. You're out in the elements. You should go there expecting, like, no one's going to help you, and a hailstorm can come, or snow can come. You just be ready for anything. Some tracks are really well equipped and they have garages and they have bathrooms and they have showers and some don't. Some don't even have power. Alright, so go out there kind of expecting anything. Uh, the definite must-haves are up here. You need some sort of shade, easy up, or maybe an umbrella, or you know, maybe share with someone for a uh, shade. Uh, bring some chairs. It's nice to sit on something <coughs> other than your motorcycle because you'll be pretty tired of that at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> definitely bring water, your own water. Some tractor Tract organizations will offer water, but don't expect them to have that there for you. So bring some water, um, bring some sport drinks with electrolytes, it'll help you through the hot days. Um, and of course, bring the cooler to keep it all cool. Um, bring extra gas. I would recommend <coughs> filling up your gas tank and bringing a little gas can. Um, so you'll, you might go through it. The faster you burn it, the faster it's going to disappear. And uh, bring a set of tools. Um, if you want to talk more about what kind of tools you want to bring with you, you can grab me or Kristen after this, so it won't take all night. But um, just your standard set of Allen wrenches and other things you can tighten up in loose bolts.
then here's a list of uh, a lot of the uh, track day organizations that cater to Southern California websites. Yeah, so that pretty much uh, concludes it. If there are any questions? Uh, and FYI, this is up on Kristen's website. Yeah, it'll be up on the website by the weekend, so you can download the presentation. Girlclutch.com if you ever want to review this. I think that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. Alright, that's Great. it. Any other cues?